welcome to our channel. Today we're talking about Orlando, one of the best places to live in the state of Florida. So don't go away, you don't wanna miss it. Hi, I'm Lori Cook. I'm a realtor here on the southwest side of Orange County, Florida. I work with my husband, Barry Cook. We are both realtors with Century 21 Cariote and we serve the southwest side of Orange County, Florida. We specialize in new homes, but we also sell resells or list resells, whatever uh, you happen to need. We are your full service realtors here on the southwest side of Orlando, Florida. So today we are talking about Orlando, the city beautiful, one of the best places to live in all of the state of Florida. I know when most people think of Orlando, they automatically think of the, the theme parks, the internationally famous theme parks, and Mickey Mouse and all of the characters and, and that sort of thing, and Universal and the roller coasters. And, um, and that's all great. We do have those things and they're wonderful and tons of people flock here to see those every year, every day in fact. There are crowds at those parks. Um, but there's so many more things that are going on right here in the City Beautiful that you wouldn't even know if I didn't tell you about it today. So today I'm taking you on a tour just to show you a few of the things that are going on around the city that you might not know otherwise. One of the things that Orlando has going for it is Icon Orlando 360. It was formerly Coca-Cola Orlando I. The Icon Orlando 360 is part of I-360 complex in the heart of Orlando, and it is a 400-foot Ferris wheel that has quickly become an iconic part of the Orlando skyline. Obviously, the views are stunning, and on a clear day, you can see as far as Cape Canaveral, which is over 50 miles away. Also here in Orlando, Pirate's Cove voted the best in Orlando, or best in Florida, I'm sorry, for mini golf. Pirate's Cove features two 18-hole courses, Captain's Course and Blackbeard's Challenge. The shady pirate-themed adventure features lush tropical landscaping, innovative hole designs, and cascading waterfalls and it is a nice escape from the hot Orlando sun. Located in downtown Orlando is Lake Eola. Lake Eola is a nice escape from the theme parks and the crowds. It provides a chance to enjoy a half mile nature walk while getting great views of the Orlando skyline. It is lands its landscape grounds feature plenty of birds and plant life, and you can also feed the swans but you're, you would, it wouldn't be complete though without a ride on the Swan Paddle Boats. So you can enjoy the scenery in a fun and unique way. Also downtown is the Orlando Science Center. The or Orlando Science Center, if you and your family are down for a little learning in a fun way, the Orlando Science Center is a great place for curious minds to explore. The destination has four floors of exhibits plus a Cynodome in a spherical theater and live programs. You can view stars in the dome planetarium and look through the largest public refracting telescope to see incredible views of the night sky. Also here in Orlando is Gatorland. This must-see look at the Everglades is, an alligator, is the alligator capital of the world. The 110-acre wildlife preserve and theme park has ex exciting rides and exhibits that all have a gator theme. Visitors will find 1,200 feet of zip lines and they can take a train ride through the park and then climb the observation tower. Also, on International Drive, there is WonderWorks. WonderWorks is another scenic destination in Orlando, which fe features dozens of hands-on exhibits. Once you get inside the attention-getting upside-down building, you will find a rope course, laser tag, and a 6D motion ride where you can create your own roller coaster. 
that's pretty exciting. I have done that myself. Then we have the Titanic, the artifact exhibition. If you're a history buff or a big Leonardo DiCaprio or Kate Winslet fan, the Titanic artifact ex exhibition is a must see during um, your off time or your downtime or your trip to Orlando, whichever it might be. They have actors playing the roles of the actual passengers and crew, and they will host your tour during your visit. You will see actual artifacts from the infamous ship recovered from the bottom of the icy Atlantic. Then there's I Fly Orlando. If you don't feel like actually jumping out of a perfectly good airplane, but you would like the experience, go to I Fly Orlando. It's indoor skydiving in Orlando. It is a sweet option for your, your trip and to, for your, you adrenaline junkies. You start off by receiving training from a flight instructor where you learn hand signals and proper body positioning for your jump out of that airplane. Also, we have the Orlando Magic. Everybody in Orlando loves to go watch the uh, Orlando Magic play basketball here at the Orlando Arena or the Amway Arena, I apologize, the Orlando, uh, Amway Arena. And we also have um, Orlando City Soccer now, and the, uh, the girls' uh, team is the Orlando Pride. So we have two professional soccer teams here now that play also here in Orlando in the City Beautiful. We have farmer's markets, the, uh, the Winter Park Farmer's Market is a huge farmer's market that we have every weekend. They also have places along the sidewalk where you can stop and have brunch while you're out at that farmer's market. We have breweries and pubs and restaurants galore here in the Orlando area. And there's so much more that um, I just haven't been able to go into in this short time. But as you can see, Orlando, the city beautiful, has so much to offer. And it is a beautiful, beautiful city. And it is an awesome place. So if you are thinking about visiting or moving here, let me know. And I'll be ha happy to get some more information for you and uh, let you know some of the other places that you don't want to miss out on whenever you and your family come to visit. Or if you're thinking about moving, just let us know, we'll be happy to help you. We are Barry and Lori Cook. We are Realtors with Century 21 Karyote. If you've enjoyed what you've seen today, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and hit the little bell below. You will get a notification whenever we have new videos coming out. We put out new videos every Friday. Also, if you'd like any other information, you'll find our, um, our contact information in the box below, and we would be happy to help you. Anyway, until next week.